Hey Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogue here, and like a lot of value investors, I took way too long to invest in cybersecurity stocks. Since the dawn of man, these stocks have been trading at nosebleed valuations, which is a non-starter for a cheapskate like myself. The stocks in cybersecurity space trade for nearly 30 times on their earnings, and some into 40 and 50 times price to earnings ratio. That's as much as three times as expensive as value stocks, and 50% more expensive on average than compared to just the broader stock market. But in this video, I'll explain why you cannot wait to buy into that cybersecurity trend, why even value investors like myself need to buy these stocks. I'll reveal five stocks to buy, along with a bonus stock that gives you all the upside to the cybersecurity trend, without the risk. Starting us off, we can see in these stock valuations why it's so difficult for value investors to jump into these stocks. This table shows the average price multiples on a group of 32 cybersecurity stocks, how much investors are paying for every dollar in earnings, book value, and company sales. And if you compare that to other groups of stocks, you can see why value investors just can't buy these stocks. For example, why would I pay $3.87 per share for every dollar in sales? So a price to sales ratio of 3.87 for every cybersecurity company when I can buy the broader stock market and pay half that, paying just $1.72 a share for every dollar in revenue booked. But that's the biggest weakness in value investing. Only buying stocks of companies that trade cheaply is you miss out on that meteoric growth trends. We know that Tesla didn't record its first year of profits until 2020, 10 years after the stock went public. And before that, it always traded at that price to sales multiple three or more times the market. But that didn't stop investors from booking a 17,000% return over those 10 years. And that same kind of growth could be ahead for some of these cybersecurity stocks that I'm gonna show you next. We'll get back to those cybersecurity stocks to buy, but if you wanna see the five stocks I'm buying for the next 30 years, my forever stocks, look for the link I'll leave in the description below. It's a free report I put together with The Motley Fool, some of the biggest stocks in my portfolio. These are the stocks I'm following in major multi-year themes, with one of the picks up more than 100%, and the group up an average 94% in the last year alone. That report is totally free. You'll see the first stock immediately, and then they'll email you the full report with the other stocks. It's an easy way to support the Let's Talk Money community and see some of my favorite stocks to buy, so look for that link below. Now, cybersecurity stocks were up 42% last year. That might just be the beginning of what we'll call the cyber risk era. Folks, there has been a 20-fold increase in the number of malicious programs just since 2014, and it's costing millions to recover from a cyber attack. Research by IBM of more than 500 cyber attacks shows the average company spends to recover after an attack with healthcare at the top target, and companies spending over $10 million each time their system is compromised. That has lifted cybersecurity budgets to over 10% for overall tech budgets from, from just 8.6% three years ago. And the big catalyst here is the advent of AI could bring another wave of threats, boosting the need for protection. According to Palo Alto Networks, the market has grown by double digits to 213 billion in just the last five years, evolving along with those new threats. The market across network, cloud, and operations at 38 billion was facing a major transformation five years ago and the three segments alone have grown at 22% annual pace to $104 billion last year. And that market might double again in the next five years as demand evolves again to meet that connected and AI-driven world. But let's get started on those five cybersecurity stocks to watch and Zscaler, ticker ZS, one I've recommended back in 2019. The company is a cloud-delivered security software company focusing on really large enterprise services and two product categories, managing applications on websites online and then internal corporate applications. I first highlighted Zscaler in December 2019 when it was just under $55 a share. Now, I've gotta admit, I got scared and took profits at $150 a share, tripling my money, but really missing out on the huge run to where it is now. Even at this point though, I don't think you can ignore the growth potential. That's because cloud is really the key here and Zscaler's main target is taking that market share from those legacy cybersecurity providers built on that hardware delivery. The company has grown its sales by 181% over the last three years, much of it in those large customer orders of a million plus, the kind of customer revenue that Zscaler can count on every year. Now the operating margin is still negative here as the company invests heavily into its research and development. I'm gonna share all the fundamentals for each of these stocks side by side in a table at the end of the video, but you see here Zscaler is trading at over 100 times earnings, expensive even for this group. Now adjusted for the rate of earnings growth, it comes down a little bit to 75 times earnings, which is gonna make it the second most expensive in our list. So, so for all of its advantages, 
maybe there are some better choices in this list. Next here, a broader play on cloud and security would be Cloudflare Inc, uh, ticker NET, a $27 billion cloud security networking and application service provider that isn't really a pure play cybersecurity stock, but still a strong growth stock in this theme. Now, that range of services across the cloud was unique when Cloudflare rolled out its plans and led to that solid market share gains against legacy companies, companies like Cisco, Juniper, and Checkpoint Software. It's helped the company grow its market and sales. Cloudflare was recently at $58 a share when I highlighted it as one of my favorite tech stocks in 2022. Now up 38%, it's one of the faster growing among the cybersecurity stocks with 181% revenue growth over the last three years, but also the most expensive at over 200 times on that price to earnings ratio. Even with that 37% earnings growth expected over the next year, it's still the most expensive on that PE to growth basis. So while I still like that long-term picture on this one, again, I think there are better stocks I'm gonna highlight next. And we're just getting started on our cybersecurity stocks to buy, but I wanna show you how to analyze these growth markets and the stocks. Again, it can be difficult for investors to really rationalize those higher price multiples on stocks, so you really need to know how to look at them to justify those higher prices. First is just finding the markets with that long-term super normal growth. For example, the market for breakfast cereals grows at just 3.3% a year, basically peaked out and just growing with the population. So you would expect a stock like General Mills to trade at a lower 15 times price to earnings. Investors just aren't going to pay for earnings with little chance of growth. Now, on the other hand, like we're looking at here, with the cybersecurity market forecast to grow 15% a year over the next five, that's going to take revenue and earnings higher for all the companies in this group. With this kind of top-down investing, looking at that bigger picture first, not only does it justify paying a little bit more on a price-to-earnings basis, but it also takes the guesswork out of the stocks to buy. You know that in that kind of market growth is going to drive up all the companies in the group. You don't have to pick the very best leader in the group because all those companies are going to go higher. Next here, you're looking at that market share and competitive advantages within each stock of that group. And how you find this is in a larger market share and profitability measures that we're going to look at each stock, they can help you point out which companies have that key advantages to help them compete. This not only shows you which stocks are truly worth that higher valuation, but which are going to continue to grow. And finally here, just comparing price multiples and the growth across the remaining stocks is going to help you narrow down your list for the best to buy. Remember here, you're not just really comparing the price multiples like PE ratio across the stocks, but looking for those stocks trading below their own historical multiples as well, finding those that are cheap now compared to their past. Fortinet Inc, ticker FTNT, is the obvious value play among cybersecurity stocks. More than two thirds of its sales here are in network securities where the company sees that stronger growth ahead and it's got a good product line across all three business segments, networking, operations, and SASE. Like others on this list, Fortinet is not only benefiting from that rise of AI through increased security demand, but also implementing AI into its own products to, to instantly detect and mitigate threats and at a reduced cost. Billing and revenue growth slipped in 2023, but is expected to rebound in 2024 with earnings up 91% for the year. The sales weakness last year caused a crash in these shares, now trading for just 39 times earnings. And I can't believe I'm saying 39 times on a price to earnings basis is cheap, but which would be expensive among any other group of stocks. It's actually a steal in cybersecurity. Even better though, the operating margin or is the second highest in this group. I mean, management is squeezing every penny of profit from its sales and with this year's earnings growth, the shares are trading for just 20 times on that PE to growth ratio. CrowdStrike Holdings, ticker CRWD, is the second largest company in the group at $67 billion market cap. Now, CrowdStrike has a really interesting threat intelligence capability, and it's leading here in the software's ability to, to work on that multi-tenant basis across many endpoints, including Internet of Things appliances. And I'd say CrowdStrike is probably my favorite for a balance between that growth and price here. Sales growth has been the highest in the group, and the operating margin is nearly twice as high as some of these other cybersecurity companies. It's not the cheapest on the PE basis, over 108 times earnings, but profits are expected to more than double this year, making this one a must own. Here's the largest cybersecurity company, Palo Alto Networks, ticker PANW. It's on our list at $99 billion market cap, giving it the size and really the scale to provide an all-in-one enterprise security solution. With over 65,000 customers, it's widely trusted by the companies and the government. Palo Alto also strikes me as a good compromise between that growth and price, though I still prefer CrowdStrike for that. Uh, PANW has grown sales by over 100% over the last three years, has a double-digit operating margin, and trades for the second lowest PE ratio. I'm going to reveal that bonus cybersecurity stock next, but check out another growth theme I'm following, a streaming video, the video here, and why Netflix 
could be the last streamer standing. Up to this point, we've focused on individual stocks to buy, but the First Trust Cybersecurity ETF, ticker CIBR, gives you that growth in the theme without the stock picking risk. The CIBR holds shares of 32 companies, all with the leaders we've highlighted here, like CrowdStrike, Zscaler, and Palo Alto but also related stocks like Broadcom, Juniper, and Okta. The CIBR ETF might not be the top performing stock in the group, but it will give you the return of all that growth theme without having to find the top stock. So I always hold one of these broad-based ETFs along with a few of my favorites in every growth theme. See my forever stocks, the five stocks I'm buying for the next 30 years, one of them up more than 100% last year alone with the link to your free report in the description below. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.